Hello everyone, it's me Patrick, and today I am back with another product from Casio. This time we have the FX115 ES Plus Second Edition Scientific Calculator, and it's a really nice um, tool, a math tool and a science tool. It does quite a bit, and I'd like to show you some of those things. I currently use this calculator for Algebra 2 and Chemistry um, as a junior. Last year I used it for Geometry. It came in handy. It was an awesome device for that. So you just turn it on. I am currently in computation mode, as you can see here. Um, there's tons of different modes. I'm going to go back up and hit 1, back in the comp mode, computation, and it'll do simple calculations, so like 8 times 9, it's 72, boom. It gives you the equation or expression that you entered into it, and it also gives you your answer. I put this into the textbook display, but you can change that by pressing shift mode button, which is set up in shift. And then there's math IO and line IO. I'm going to leave it at that, but you can change the display on here and a bunch of other settings. Um, here's a cool one, actually. The contrast. I can literally... Uh, change the color of the keys. Here's some other cool things that this thing can do. So eight alpha, and here's X. Eight X plus five alpha again, calc equals. And let's say eight times two plus five would give us 21. Now, I hit shift, solve, solve for x, disregard that number. That was the last um, variable um, answer that I got. So I'll hit equal, and it gives me 2. And 8 times 2 is 16, plus 5 is 21. That's really cool. It does not solve for any of these other variables, so like a, b, c, d, e, f, y, and m. It'll ask you, though, if you use them, what the values are going to be for them. The only one that it does solve for is X. Some other cool things that I can do with this are solve for slope. So I'll hit the fraction key, and let's see. Y2 minus Y1, so maybe 9 minus 5, over X2 minus X1, 8 minus 6. And my slope would be 2. How cool is that? And that's literally just the fraction key. you got your square root, obviously. 25 is 5. And then you got other keys here, like your trig keys. So maybe I'll do 8 cosine 6. And it gives you my measurement. Um, I put that in degrees. But you can also use radian. So I'll leave it at that. And it, it does so many different things, which is really nice. Another neat feature is um, maybe if I put a decimal answer in here um, and I add it to another number or do whatever, um, I set it so that it'll give me an improper fraction, but the S to D key, source to... Decimal, we'll put it in decimal form. If you hit it again, it'll go back to fraction form. If I hit shift, it'll say A over BC to DC, which is fraction to mixed number. I will get a mixed number out of that. If I hit it again, back to decimal, improper fraction, and then yeah. If you want that, you have to hit shift again. But... It's very cool. I like it. 
One thing that makes this calculator great is that it is powered by a battery, but you also get a solar cell, so you get two-way power with this thing, um, which makes it very efficient. You don't have to rely on just batteries or just solar, so it'll work in most places, although I recommend you use it in a lighted area so that you can see the display. And this thing is about 15 bucks online, so it's very affordable. You get a lot for it. You get It's a great value. Um, it just does so much. For, for that amount of money, you can you can really do a lot with it. And it is approved for the SAT and ACT um, for the calculator section. Of course, when you're doing the no calculator section, you're going to be given scrap paper where you need to do your work on. But for the calculator section, this thing does a great job and it gets a lot done for you um and i i just love using the casio calculator and this one in particular because um it's a great value for what you get and it just does so much and um it was a great tool that got me through geometry last year and it's really helpful for algebra two and chemistry this year, and it'll be great next year when I do stats and possibly physics. So that's my review of the Casio FX 115 ES Plus Second Edition Scientific Calculator. I will leave the links in the descriptions to buy this thing brand new, and... There's also this, uh, I think, derivative key. Um, I haven't taken calculus, so I, I don't know what this completely does. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but if, if there's a different way of doing this, but yeah, negative 120. I don't know how it got that, but you, know, you get the point. It, it does... Um, calculus stuff as well, which is really cool. Another thing is you could do repeating decimal on this thing. So maybe 8 repeating 5 equals, and then I got the fraction improper, 8, 5 repeating. And then if I hit it again, I get the entire number. It goes up to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Nine, ten digits. Um, this thing can do more digits, but that's how much it'll show you. And honestly, that's probably all you need, especially if there's a lot of zeros, because the rule of significant figures um, limits how many numbers you can put in a final answer. And speaking of that, because that's really a big scientific thing. There's scientific notation on here. So maybe 2 times 10 to the 6 equals, and it'll give you the full number in standard form. So that's very cool. Another cool feature you get on this is time. So maybe delete, sorry about that, 24 hours, 60 minutes and it'll show degrees but it's really going degrees hours minutes and 59 minutes equals 25 0 59 s no not std you hit that key again and it'll give you the decimal and the time with degrees hours and minutes and actually, yes, S to D will give you the fraction and the decimal. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.